Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to this play Kingdoms of Amor Reckoning on the PC. Last time, we were over here in Whitestone, getting uh, my controller moved or something. I don't know. I don't know what. Sometimes it just does that. I don't know. Maybe it's some weird, like, clicky thing. I don't freaking know. Yeah, we are over here in Whitestone, getting some quests. And I ran out of lockpicks, so I went to the various uh, camps that we've been to to get some lockpicks. Um, I found some over here in Star Camp. Uh, Moon Camp over here didn't really have as much. But, there's a few things in here that I can get anyways. Uh, this chick right here, um, Heroine Carrot, she offers stealth training. So let's go grab this from her. Greetings. For your coin, I can help you improve your stealth and hide your presence. There we presence. go. So, oh, we've already... Have we already done it? Okay, I guess we've already got the stealth from her. I thought... I didn't think we did. Where, the Where is... What is my stealth at? Not that it, not that it really matters, because stealth doesn't really matter to me too much. But... Okay, never mind. Um, there is another trainer here in the star camp that uh, I think I'm out of range for. It. She's persuasion, I think. Uh, let's see where she at. Yeah, here she is. They say he's taken to the Hierophant. Yeah, she's a. Uh, Who knows if he'll win? I think she's training, or er, not training, um, persuasion. So. There was also some trainers over here at Sun Camp or Moon Camp, which I don't think I got yet. But let's just go ahead and check them. Yeah, this chick right here, uh, she didn't have any. Well, this shop right here didn't happen to have any lock picks, so I got twelve from the first camp there. Let's see now. I think this guy right here. The rumor is a man named Grim oh. has started. Okay, you know what? I'm an idiot. I didn't even see the part. When I was looking at this earlier, where it was grayed out and I'd already trained, I thought I had just managed to miss him somehow. So, oops. Um, now, there was one more trainer over here, if I can check him out real fast. I think it's you. There is so little in this world a man can teach. Okay, I can train Even this. A man can and this is mercantile. Maybe awesome. You. Goodbye. Okay, so that's great. Selling any clothes? No, I don't have any... I don't have any excess... Uh, what should we call it? It's peasant clothes or whatever. So there we go. Also at the... Other camp over here. Um, I forgot we had that quest where he wants to buy prison keys. And somehow... I don't know where it came from... But I have myself a Rathir prison key. Uh, where is it? Well, I don't know. When I turned it in, yeah, there it is. Uh, Rathir prison key. But I don't know where I got it, and I'm just going to hold on to it for right now. I'll wait till I get the keys from Odessa and Melson Shear and then bother to turn them in. But for now, let's go ahead and head back to Whitestone. And I want to pick the lock of the general shop here. See what he's got down there for us. Probably nothing great, but, you know, it never hurts to try. Damn it. Damn it. And a whole bunch of nothing. Okay. Luckily, lockpicks aren't too terribly expensive. So I'm not too terribly worried about it. Now, I think we've got pretty much everything explored in here, except for the mayor's town. So, let's go ahead and head over there. Hi. And this should be the last little bit of exploring here we do. But then we still got the Sun Camp and Odessa and Melson Shear. We got plenty of cities coming up, that's for sure. Alright, so there's the mayor. Let's check out the rest of his house first. Whitestone Passage. Okay, that's easy enough.
There we go. Uh, beads. Everything in this guy's house is freaking locked. Key to Mare's Cave. That probably unlocks the, uh, yeah, the Whitestone Passage. So might as well use that. Why not? There we go. This way we don't got to worry about lockpicking it. I think if we just uh, examine it, it'll unlock it. There you go. Awesome. Hello, Mr. Mayor. How you doing? Actually, you know what? Let's check out the uh, hidden passage first. Yeah, I'm going to just uh, move your fireplace out of the way. Corthian Chouses. I think we have these already. Uh, let's see. You know, I'm not too terribly worried about stealing that. Uh, hello. Um, well, you know what? I got you covered there, Chief. Where's my phase walk? There we go. How is that 80%? I'm supposed to be invisible here. Okay. Come on. Damn it. My freaking potion ran out before these guys decided to stop noticing me with my visibility potion. Oh, well. Okay. Um, another phase walk mineral fast. Back to the old crouch. There you go. Not that it's really anything too terribly useful, but stand right there. Let me take a look at you. Filthy, weary, lonely. Not special, that's for certain. We don't see folks like you in Whitestone very often. I'm Mayor Eswin Elfhorn, and I'm the closest thing to a friend you've got around here. You mean besides everybody else? I like you. You're not a fool. To know what you're getting into. Well, I think big, but I'm smart enough to start small. I need a person who can do both. I want you to acquire something for me. Something that rightfully belongs to me. Okay, why not? Sure. There's a man named Adolf Scoria, patriarch of the most prominent mining family in Apotir. Months ago, I bought his family mine. It wasn't cheap. Now Adolf refuses to surrender the property. In fact, he's gone into hiding and won't meet with me. I need you to acquire what is legally mine. The deed to his claim. Modus Mining stored all the records in its old headquarters east of the village. But the building has long since been overrun. Get that deed, and we're in business. Okay. Uh, let's see. Probably in that relic of a building that was once Modus headquarters. Now a haven for thugs and criminals. Near the cemetery to the east. An obstacle in the way of progress. The old man still believes that Apotheca could come back from its decline by force of will. Typical of a miner. Keeps digging away. There are four mining families. The Dagvari, the Sinrix, Zungars, and the Scorias. When the gnomes departed, so did the jobs. There was nothing for the miners left behind. Starvation, desperation, well, they change people. Most of the miners in Apotia kept their sanity, even when they lost everything else. But the others, they turned to banditry. The usual theft, kidnapping, murder. You'd best stick close to Whitestone. You're an easy target. Yeah, that's what those chumps think. My given name is Eswin Elfhelm. But people around here call me Mayor Eswin. They're simple people. That's why I like them. I grew up in the old main city of Miria, west of here. I'd never worked a full day in my life. I'm certainly making up for it now. I sleep one, two hours a night. Wow, that's not very much. I'm guessing Miria is over in uh, Melson Shear areas? My home. 
A lifetime ago, it seems. The port was nice. The smell of fish near the harbor was offensive. You'd have a hard time finding anything that resembles Miria here in Detir. The Sinric boys think this is a game. They're laughing now. But we'll see how they like the taste of their own ruthlessness. They're the second oldest family in Apatir. And they're headed for a prison. Or the graveyard. The Darkvara were hit hardest by Modus's relocation. The young men and women watched the elders and children waste away. Now they're all that's left. Sad story, isn't it? Doesn't excuse their lawlessness. Once the Terenium ran out, they moved on. Gnomes don't care for the welfare of other races. They're hoping we'll kill each other off. Save them the trouble. Terenium. It's the only reason the gnomes ever graced it here with their presence. Normally, they'd find the climate too dry. They like their beards curly. Motus Mining settled Whitestone. Built all the mines and relocated the families. Once they'd taken what they came for, they vanished almost overnight. Disgraceful. That's yeah, just business, really. Liars, thieves, and scum. Let's hope they never take control of Apotir. This little town was the heart of the boom, the engine that drove the rise of Odessa. But in business, every boom is followed by the eventual bust. The gnomes moved out, but the gnomes want the gold. And with the gold went the jobs. White stone has been a shell of itself since. But I seek to change all that. It would take quite a bit to convince me the Zongars weren't criminals from the start. It's probably no surprise the worst miners of Apotir make the best brigands. <laughs> okay, so we got our work cut out for us here. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and check out the passage here. Uh, let's see... That'll get to his villa for the item that we need for the chicken the inn. And then we can go check out all the various mines, which there's like eight of them that we got to get to, it seems like. Yeah, there's a fair amount, that's for sure. Ah, there it is. Prismere lockpick, why not? There we go. And some stuff in the villa for us to take, I think. Grab all that. Now, where is the deed that we're looking for here? Oh, we gotta get through the cottage door. Okay. Um, ah, there we go. I like it up here. Got a nice little view of the town. I like it, I like it. Fuck it. Prismere. We got plenty of the little bastards. The water spots left by tears are clearly visible on the paper of this heartfelt letter. Heste Gresta. He sounds familiar. Written in blood.
Have we already read this one? Yeah, we have. Okay. So that one's done. Alright, there we go. Nice little bit of lore there. More nursery rhymes, huh? Oh, we already read that one. Um, why do they have so many just also far or Docklefar pages? I, I don't think we've read this one, but if we have, well, here it is again real fast. And I mean real fast. Give you a few seconds to pause it if you want to read it. Okay, there's like three Josephar books in this damn town. And they're all the same ones. They don't have anything different to say. This is a nice, cozy little room up here. I like it. Uh, let's see. Let's just unlock it. And there we go. Confession of Mayor Taklari. The former mayor, okay. Well, maybe because she's the one that uh, is confessing to. Okay, we're going to have to talk to this chick about it. We're either going to have to fight her or pay her for silence or something. I don't know. This is quite the little passageway you got to go through just to get to your little villa there, Mr. Mayor. Unless he even knows about it. Or figured out how to unlock the door at least. What are you looking at? You, you butt ugly bastard. Alright, so she's over here in the inn, and let's see what she has to say for herself. Where'd she go? Strange job. Oh, she went back to the camp. That bastard. Okay, so let's go check out some of the mines in since we got a few minutes here. Uh, let's see. Get out of here. Actually, do it. Yeah, my inventory's good. We'll live. All right, so let's go ahead and start with this mine down here. Uh, Steg's nest egg in the Dark Fari mine. Might as well get it. Anybody want to challenge me on the way in? No. Okay. Just want to make sure. Gonna have a few things to do in this particular mine. See, there's his nest egg, and then I think there was a couple dark Ferrari we had to take care of in here. I think. How you doing, fellas? Well, good for them. Now, what were you hiding down here? Nothing. Alright, so we got the nest egg in here, and then... There's something else we gotta do in here, just not sure what. Okay, I see some traps on the map here, but... I was gonna dash past them, but that works too. Extra critical hit chance, that's not bad. That's probably good for like a uh, finesse build. Don't really need it too much in our current specialization. Oh, 
I'll make some more weapons later when we get, uh, well, better components. I mean, we got decent components now, but I think I made the best that I could for a while at least. Okay, so we want to go this way first. Hey, look, there's going to be some uh, dinner for the Inns folk. Or not, okay. go. Uh, now where's the other? I guess the other guy's still back there. There's the little bastard. Oh, you don't want to give me your meat? Okay. I was hoping to get it, but... Oh, well, still 700 gold for one little piece of rat meat there. Coal mite deposit. What is that? Colmanite deposit. A strange ore appears to be found only in the deepest mines of Apatir. It is a dark yet vibrant luster. I'm sure we're going to find some use for that. Just, well, not sure when. Oh, there's your meat. Okay. Now, how many more rats are in here? There's the uh, outlaws. Okay, I thought there was some more stuff in here that we had to do. Ah, here it is, Dark Fari. Um... Okay, maybe we just gotta kill everybody in here and that'll constitute the whole extermination process that they want us to accomplish here. Possibly. You know, that's not a very good trap since it appears to have already been triggered, but... Okay, if that's how you want to do it. Come here. Hey, goodbye, sir. Okay, the Dark Raris are exterminated. Nice. Works out great. Got some good stuff in there. And now where is Steg's worldly possessions? Ah, here we go. Dang it, why has everything got to be unlocked in here? Oh, his stuff's still up there. Okay, never mind. This is a very short mine, but still reasonably profitable. Now, where? Okay, there's his stuff. Don't tell me I gotta unlock this, too. Okay, good, I don't. It's just lootable. Curious, cowl, mysterious parchment. Okay, I guess. Now, where is Herindi located? If it wants to tell me, that'd be great. If not, well, we'll have to find her. Uh, I think they said she was a Zungnar, I think. So we gotta work it out trying to find her. Let's see. Sirik. Yeah, Zugnar is down there. And if we go to that. Oh, she's right outside. Okay, there we go. That was fast. Yeah, okay, you guys need to be re exterminated. Uh, hello. A lot of you bastards. Seems to be mostly. Well, for a second, it was looking like it was mostly women, but not that it really matters. They'll all die anyways. Alright, now where is Herindi? There she is. Hello. 
You don't know me, but I've been following you. My name's Thrindy. That parchment you carry, it belongs to me, as Steg always meant it to be a wedding gift. Now, if you please, hand it over. Well, you don't sound too terribly, uh... Kind. Don't ever speak my name aloud. I hate hearing it. Zungar. It's a sound of retching. A man's skull cracking beneath a blow. Every time I hear it, I cringe. Soon I will have a new name to go with my new life. And that's going to be uh, Dark Rathy, right? Or whatever Steg's last name is. You heard it right. There's no love lost between the families of Darkvari and Zungar. But show me a close family in Apatir and I'll show you a gnome with a conscience. What about him? I've met hundreds of men more to my liking. Only, those men didn't have what Steg possesses. The Darkvari map. Once I learned Steg had it, I knew I had to act. I was willing to do anything. Even marry the idiot. Uh-huh. Uh... That's right. The fabled treasure map of the Darkvari family. With it, I can build a new life, shed my Zungar name, and start all over again. Let's try the whole possibility of you loving him. Perhaps I did, but he won't be able to care for me. He can hardly care for himself. Look how easily he was captured. Oh, but perhaps you're right. He doesn't deserve this, not from me. There are few gentle souls left in Apatir. I'd hate to kill the last. I'll face the world alone, then. Well, okay. Our business is finished. It's best if both of us leave Apatir. Nothing here worth staying for. <sighs> There's no future for me here. I've known that since I first laid eyes on the endless mine that is my family's namesake. There's more out there than Apatir. A whole lot more, actually. He's a sweet boy, but young, and woefully misguided. One day he will understand, as I do, how cold the world can be. I'm doing him a favor by leaving. If you say so. The Zungar name cuts me like a dagger. I've never been able to escape its edge. All I've ever wanted is a chance to live a life without it. Steg's love almost changed that, but I could never allow someone to get close enough to hurt me. After what I've been through. This takes too much of an idiot to hurt you. But, okay. Fine. Uh, Stigmatic, you're over here. So let's uh, go talk to him real fast and tell him that his love life has been cancelled. Anybody else want to chit-chat? No? Okay, good. All right, let's go talk to Steg, and then we'll go ahead and turn in the uh, Dark Vari, or whatever that one was, real fast, just to get an idea for how the rewards are. You haven't laid eyes on Frindy, have you? She is bright, graceful, like an oasis on a summer's day. I was sure she would be here. She said the stars themselves wouldn't wait as long as she would. She kind of left, dude. Sorry. What do you mean she's gone? Was her fear too great? Did she choose to stay behind? I had a feeling this would happen. In the end, I couldn't make her happy. Let's just uh, keep his hopes and dreams alive. Um, that would actually... Yeah, let's go for the top one. It. Ever since we met, I've had a feeling that one so enchanted could never belong to one man. And what kind of man was I? All that time in the cage, I convinced myself of something that never really was. Your help, your friendship, was worth more than gold. Please, keep the parchment. It is a map drafted by my grandfather. It reveals the locations of all the Dark Vari hordes in Apatir. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, bye, Steg. Now, what do you mean the Dark Vari hordes? I mean... There's chests. There's Hera, mercenary. Unless some of these... 
chests are hordes. And, well, I don't know. Oh, there's Lena right there. She's actually not actually in the sun camp. I thought she was actually in the sun camp there, but uh, Best keep on your toes. maybe she is in the sun Our camp. Does not have patience for... Yeah, okay, good for you. I'll talk to the sun camp later. I want to talk to this chick Hi. first. Hi there. I've been following your progress from a safe distance, of course. Can I have the document now? Calm down, old lady vo voice. Hang on. It's not your concern. Acquiring it was the important thing. Now that it's safe, it needs to be given to the proper party so it can be destroyed. So they can know that you were the one, or not know that you were the one that poisoned the water. Yeah. They need to know. So, you read the document, did you? Bad idea. I was supposed to get it out of here without anyone ever seeing it. Job well done, Lena. The travelers weren't responsible for what happened in the snake tail. It was the gnomes. We helped prevent a panic. Imagine what would have happened if the people of Whitestone had found out the truth. Apatir would be in even worse shape than it is now. Yeah, give, some, give me some money out of the deal. Fine. That's something I can do. Gold is plentiful if you know where to steal it. Now hand over the paper. Okay, there we go. Alright, we're done. Bye. Now. Hey, where'd my money go? You didn't give me any money. Now that I've got what I came for, I'm leaving at goodbye. She didn't give me any money, that bitch. Okay, anyways, let's see what the uh, reward for the extermination of the Darkvari family is. Um, you're not there, are you? Yeah, I know there's no active quest. Don't worry about it. Hello there. Okay, let's see here. Work, then. Not bad. Dark Bari aren't icy killers like the Zungar, but they can handle their own, as can you. Here's your pay. Okay, a fair amount of gold, not a whole lot, but it's there, I guess. Okay, so next episode, let's see, we got. Uh, so we got the Modus Headquarters. It looks like the Zungnar or Zungar shaft is going to be pretty long. This one right here, the Sinric, that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's see. Scoria. So we'll probably go ahead and just do the... Uh, the, the Modus Mining Headquarters. And then the Scoria one right after that. And then from there, if we have time, we'll get started on the Zungnar family. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and set a quest here. Uh, let's go ahead and set the the Bone Town, I guess. Okay. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.